Hey there! Today I'm diving into a topic that might resonate with many of you, the hidden false self of narcissists, particularly those charming yet perplexing male narcissists. So buckle up for a revealing journey. Now, imagine the typical narcissist. Charming, right? Flashing that winning smile, always knowing just what to say. But there's a twist in the tale. Behind that allure, there's a hidden, fragile self that they fiercely guard from the world. It's like meeting two different people housed in one body. This false self is essentially a facade, built brick by brick from insecurities and an insatiable need for admiration. It's meticulously crafted to gain praise and attention which they crave like air. Pretty exhausting, huh? And here's the kicker, they often don't even realize they're doing it. It's like watching someone juggle flaming swords while blindfolded. Risky, and let's be honest, kind of impressive. So how do you spot this? Well, the mask usually slips when they don't get the admiration they're fishing for. You might see sudden mood swings or even hostility. It's like that moment in a horror movie when the sweet music stops and you know something's about to go down. Now, for those who've dealt with a narcissist, you know how draining it can be. It's like being in a relationship with a human black hole. No matter how much love and attention you pour in, it's never enough. They can leave you feeling bewildered and honestly questioning your own sanity. But here's where it gets really interesting. This false self is not just a shield, but a prison. Narcissists are often trapped in this persona, tangled in their own web of lies and expectations. It's a lonely place, despite the crowd of admirers they might gather. It's almost tragic in a Shakespearean way. So what can you do if you're dealing with a narcissist? First, protect your energy. It's okay to set boundaries, to say no, or to take space for yourself. Remember, you're not responsible for fixing them. That's a journey they have to embark on themselves, preferably with professional help. In conclusion, understanding the narcissist's hidden false self doesn't just help you navigate these tricky relationships. It also brings a sense of compassion, not necessarily for the narcissist, but for the human condition in all its complexity. Remember, beneath all that bravado, there's often a lot of pain. Thanks for joining me today. If this video hit home for you, give it a like, share it, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the naughty parts of human interactions. See you next time.